what is going on everyone welcome back to more red dead 2 so we're continuing where we left off um we got it we made it to the camp last time and now we're starting new stuff so let me check the map um i assume there's well, i guess we just talked to this dude there's a lot of uh icons on the map but only have one close by. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <sighs> all right. You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment to civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yo, I got this. I actually spent a little bit of time trying to tweak all the settings. And it still seems, like, kind of grainy. And then, I know... Hold on. Let me just uh, show you real quick. So there's a lot of settings. I'm not really sure what some of them do. I don't know why it does that. But I'm pretty sure it's this one. Like, it'll look sharper, but it'll also look kind of weird. I'm pretty sure the temporal thingy is what caused it. But yeah. Yeah, there's just something about this. It like it looks sharper, but then it's also like shadow green, which is kind of weird. Yeah, there's a lot of settings that some of them I'm not even sure what they do, but for the most part. This is like the best balance I can get. Mostly the only thing I'm trying to do is stay above 60 FPS. Not my problem. I thought you wanted to head into town. Yes, but this won't take long. Look at the poor fellow. Why didn't you help that poor man? Well, Lombago. It's really serious. It can be deadly. How about you, Arthur? Do I look like I got the energy to waste on charity? The fool can get his own horse. I don't believe you're quite that cold, Mr. Morgan. Oh, I'm colder than you realize. I feel bad I didn't rob and kill the bastard. <laughs> Very inspiring, Arthur. 
If I've Whoa. learned anything in Red Dead, it's just sheep. mind your own business. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people. Wow. It looks like strawberry. Snow on the mountains. Sure is it? <laughs> oh no. Where's strawberry? Have you even got that discovered? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh no, Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Go left here, down the main street. Dare's always on the right. We can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Get out of the Ever way. Bid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh yes, we can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. <laughs> I've seen everything. <laughs> How's it going? All right. Here we are, just like I said. Cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Something Man, happens, they're on their own. Uncle, Ain't nobody got time for that. Doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. Imagine Paris and so that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. Weird flex. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place, huh? Come on. Get out of the way. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? Why don't you pick out a cigar? A cigar always focuses the mind, I find. What are you saying? Well, Can't even buy weapons scattered. yet. Arthur? Feels bad. Old uncle. Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf. Here's the door. Yeah, well, I got no money on me. Okay, wait for me outside when you're done. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? Lamb or a sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Okay. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace train full of rich tourists heading to San Diné and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there.
There's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Oh God. Look at what you've done. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! I've been looking too long. I got you now. Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. Why you gotta I'm tell people your real right name? Now. First time you meet them. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her! I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Something like that, yeah. No trouble now, please. I'm ready. We're gonna ask. Get off of me. Oh god. I'm getting what I paid for. <laughs> hey! Hey you! A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! Uh, I wasted my time. Yikes. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But. Wow. Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but it is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. <laughs> he doesn't I care. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Cool. Get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Same. Just born it. Stay away from me. Get back here right now. Oh, no. I think I took a bad turn. Get out the way. I didn't mean nothing by it. Honest. Listen there. No witnesses. I don't Are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing Oh, I don't me? even have any other options. I only have one. An unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please. What the hell are you doing? Yo. There was only one option. Dishonorable. It's not my fault. 
I don't even actually know where it's saved. Um, let's just start a new one. Okay, we're good. What are you doing? Okay, girl. Yeah. Best way to gain honor in this game is just uh, brushing your horse. Yeah, I'm just. Gonna, oh, can't brush that horse. You know, it wouldn't really have been that bad if he just stopped and like wanted to talk, but you know, why don't you watch it? Decide to run and make you suspicious. It wasn't me. Uh, I don't actually know who to talk to. Is it in the bar? Just a tough as teak mountain man. Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. <laughs> That's all, Arthur. Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Wait, that a nice way to talk to a lady. Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our Bar fight. How did it escalate to that? What the heck, dude? Snap. I just have to like perma block because he apparently takes zero hits.
Somehow we're doing it. Sir, you won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well. I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always... A pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. At least your face is clean. Okay. Uh, let me see. Where do we go now? Big question mark. Let's go there. We still don't have a camp set up, so... Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. <gasps> Calloway, sir. It's not do that. Free. Ancient history, done and dusted. The dead Who's got your friend the there. You gotta keep suffering. Ha! Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak <laughs> to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Calloway. 
any of them get uppity, shoot them. <laughs> can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot them? It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to them. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Why did he lose money? Um. This one's main ones, right? Because I don't know where I'm going. Um, I forgot where they said to meet up. You good for nothing, cheating bastard! I ain't hearing no more of this. I won that game fair and square. Shit, fair and square, my ass! Not my problem. coming back from my hat. It's not even mine, I don't think. At least the bar fight's over. Yeah, I got a story for you. My sister Stella came home from the bar all fired up. How are you? Another one. Damn. Yep. Fred sure don't like people looking at him funny. Thanks, partner. I'm actually not sure of what to do now. Like, where? On, how do I get back to my camp? Ounces of pose, fast travel works. Hello 
there. Pleased to see you. Um. Oh, we got to look at the photos again. I swore I did that. So that train that got robbed up in the Grizzlies had Mr. Cornwall's car on it, apparently. I had a fella try to pass off some jerky as his ticket. So long. Okay, so somehow we got to uh, get back to our camp, I think. Can we just steal some dude's horse? Jack some dude's horse. All right, then. I'm not going to lie. I don't really know where to go. So just kind of going back to camp. go hunting. All right, well, I am going to figure this out, but I'm going to split the recording here. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode.